residents and landowners so they can help to conserve water as the region faces a potential drought. That's the message experts are trying to convey. Border Report Sandra Sanchez recently attended a water conservation event in Westlaco sponsored by Texas A&M AgriLife aimed toward property owners. She joins us now live in the newsroom to tell us more about it. Sandra. Good afternoon, Sonia. Every drop counts and everyone can make a difference in helping to conserve water, especially especially along streams and rivers. And that means property owners along the Rio Grande should especially take care of their lands to improve and increase the quality of water that starts with making sure there is ample vegetation on the embankments. That's according to Alexander Neal of the Texas Water Resources Institute. When there is a lot of vegetation present, our, our land is better protected and it doesn't erode as much. But when we have these bare spots or areas that are disturbed, uh, that's when we will have a lot more uh, erosion uh, and, and further water quality issues resulting from um, erosion and runoff. Hidalgo County is currently in a disaster declaration due to drought and lack of water that Mexico has not paid to the Rio Grande under a 1944 international treaty. Neil came from Dallas and led a workshop Tuesday that included a tour of the Estero Llano Grande Estate Park in Westlaco. He says planting and allowing natural grasses, diverse vegetation and woody trees of all size and ages to live on the embankments, which are called riparian zones, will actually help our waterways. Every stream, every tributary matters. The more riparian areas and the better functioning ecosystems we can have along every little tributary of the Rio here, the more water can be held in all of these systems. They all act like sponges. So when there's a lot of vegetation there, uh, more water can be held uh, literally in the ground beneath our feet at these locations. Just yesterday, Edinburgh announced it was entering stage two of water conservation. It goes into effect on Monday. Several other valley cities have done the same. So Sandra, everyone loves a clear view of the river, but why is it so important to have this vegetation on the river banks? Exactly, and it's not going to make everyone happy, but experts like Neil say that natural landscaping and thick brush up to the waterway will prevent soil erosion because the banks will be more established. Tall trees will provide shade and cover to prevent evaporation of water in the river, and the plants on the embankment will actually help to clean pollutants that could enter our waterways during high rains or floods, including pesticides and chemicals. So Sandra, what are they suggesting that people do? Number one, they say don't mow close to the water's edge. And everyone likes a view, but mowing creates bare spots and that could lead to flash floods and erosion. These bare spots are unprotected and, and they could mean less water in the river or the stream. Number two, if the bank doesn't have this, then plant a good variety of multiple ages and classes of vegetation, like stabilizing plants with deep roots. That could be switchgrass, elm, sycamore, willow trees. Ideally, 10 different plant combinations will make for the most stable soil. Very interesting. So finally, you cover the border and you've seen areas where entire sections of the Rio Grande have been cleared for border security to build border wall and put in concertina wire. How does that affect the river? Exactly. Here in Brownsville, miles of concertina wire have been put down and the land cleared as part of Operation Lone Star. Federal and state border wall also is being built in Star County. I spoke with Lake and Jordahl of the Center for Biological Diversity recently, and he says these structures are doing a lot of damage. His group has actually filed lawsuits against the border wall. And I spoke with a pecan farmer in Eagle Pass, and she said her trees are dying along the river because of the miles of concertina wire put there by Operation Lone Star. The sandy banks are barren and wind just blows dirt. She says the trees are withering from a lack of water and so much dust. Jordahl's group wants scientific studies done to show exactly how clearing the land and these structures will affect wildlife and the ecosystem before any more construction occurs. Sandra, thank you so much for joining us today and for more details on how you can help conserve water and plant vegetation to help the riverbanks head over to borderreport.com.